Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Father's Day. Oh yeah, somebody has some truth that needs to be spoken here. So what I'm going to do here is put on some cards for Father's Day just to get other energy here. And then I'll put the after tarot as well. <clears throat> I have a free reading contest. Um, if you'd like to have a free reading, the value is $140 value Canadian. Um, if you'd like to have a chance at winning this, you can go to my community page and in my community page tab section there, couple posts down, it will give you all the details you need on how you are to be able to win. I choose the winner on the 10th of June, which is coming up in four days. So you have four more days to get in on this free reading. If you choose to participate, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, um, you can gift it to someone else. If you don't want the reading yourself, you can pass it on to somebody that might want the reading as well as, um, yeah, uh, it's also going to be a reading just like this, but with two more cards on each deck here, because I am going to have it for you and your person. And if you're single, you and your potential person. And if you are with somebody and you want to see if there's someone else that's potential out there, <laughs> just saying, <laughs> um, we can also do that. So in any case, this is what I have right now. And we're going to do the Father's Day reading. Okay, I had a so I had to do there <laughs> to pause it for a second, but let's look at dad. Let's see for Father's Day. What's your energy? Mm. Okay, well, you're no longer feeling paralyzed or stuck in something here. I feel like you're kind of, um, I'm seeing here this feeling of trapped in that I feel like that's or victimized I feel like you're coming out of that the problem here is the two of wands in reverse so <laughs> what I'm kind of feeling with that is you're feeling held back by something and it's no longer fear here but there's something holding you back maybe um I'm kind of feeling like you're meant to do something here and you're not doing it. What is this for dad? Let's just grab this one here. Ooh, you're supposed to be going towards your 10 of pentacles. There's no more fear here to come forward, but you're being held back for some reason here. Let's see what your sun sign says. Whoa. <laughs> I just jumped across the table. Let's see here. Let's just pick one out. Gateway. Okay. We're supposed to go through some type of gateway, but I it's a path that you're supposed to be on and you're there's something that you haven't done yet that's holding you back, Dad. What is it? Let's see on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what comes up here. Taking a risk. The gateway's there. You're being held back. Why are you being held back? You're willing to take the risk. You're not no longer fearful here or feeling trapped by something. You want that ton of pentacles. But why what's the he held back about? Why are they held back? That one wants to come. Hmm. King of Cups. Possibly not exactly emotionally balanced. Why are you being held back? Because you are emotionally balanced, compassionate, understanding, sensitive. 
So what's the problem here? Why is he being held back? Why is he being held back? Huh. Huh, okay. This is the Page of Swords in the reversed. <laughs> Not communicating right now. Okay. All talk, no action. Maybe confused, playing some mind games. Maybe gossiping. Manipulation, lack of planning. <laughs> Could be a lot of things, but you're gonna know what that, why you're being held back for yourself here. I'm, I'm getting more all talk, no action. Maybe I'm kind of getting ego here, even though ego's not here. I'm kind of feeling it's got to do something with the ego. There needs to be an ego death here of some sort. Huh. Hmm. Was there a deceptive something that you may have done or that had been done to you? Something's supposed to be moving forward and you're being held back from it. Okay, well let's check out <laughs> all the signs of moving forward to here. Except for, it looks like spirit's holding you back from planting these seeds with your ten of, or ten of pentacles. There's something that's not being said, done, communicated. There's no more fear. Hmm. Interesting. Whoops. <laughs> Let's have a look here. Let's get that card back out. What do I do with the other one now? <laughs> oh no. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's get a card first for you. Oh, oh we got a twofer. Okay. And then the bottom of the deck. So let's look at these first. We have, okay. <laughs> Look, to me, I'm feeling like you're not cooperating. It's time to take action, meditate, and contemplate on something here. A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. New moon in Pisces. New moon in Aries. So, a lot of Aries here. And the Page of Cups in reverse, I mean, like, you're being held back here. Maybe some insecurity, emotional, don't want to be emotional, vulnerable, immaturity, hmm. maybe neglecting some inner child here. And the three of pentacles here in reverse, I mean, that's usually lack of a teammate or a lack mindset here. What is going on? Okay, so this is how your emotions going on here. So, huh. Let's see how people are seeing you or viewing you with your rising. Oh, you want to speak some truth? You want to fight for this? Okay. That's what people are seeing. But there's some truth that you're supposed to be saying or fighting for this. They figure you should be fighting for this. Maybe going in and telling the truth. Maybe you know a truth about someone else. The inner temple life lessons. I go within my shadow for deep spiritual growth. So there's something you're not tapping into here. I kind of feel in that ego death here. What else do we have? Ah, visionary. I chart the stars, signs, and symbols to craft magic. Now, what kind of magic are you crafting is the question, Dad. <laughs> All you fathers out there. If it's the dark magic, um, karma is a bitch, I'll tell you that much. Um, but just remember, 
if you're wishing upon something that is going to take away from somebody's free will, um, I don't recommend it. <laughs> um, karma's written all over that. Uh, it should be something that you want for yourself. And if it's love, it maybe shouldn't have a name on it. It should maybe just come however spirit wants it to. And you can say what you're looking for in a person, what you're hoping for in a person, and hope that spirit gets it right when they bring your person in. So, yeah. Let's see here. Let's look at your luck here. Hmm, it looks like somebody might have some attachments to something here. Crying over spilt milk here. What is this five of cups? What are you grieving over or disappointed in? This is kind of like emotional baggage. So maybe that's why you're being held back here from moving forward here. What's the luck here? Ooh, storm warning. So there needs to be an ending before something has to end in your energy before you can come forward. It looks like you're maybe needing to deep dive into things that maybe you haven't wanted to touch upon going into your shadow shadow self, maybe some inner trauma or inner turmoil that you haven't dealt with yet, which you've been dragging around with you for a lot of relationships possibly yeah some hostility here i kind of feel like if you don't deal with this now and you try to go in things aren't going to work out in your favor it looks like is what spirit's kind of telling me even if you take action there may not be some res resolution here And if it's just to win at all costs, then this is the wrong mindset that has has you going here. If you're just wanting to win, let's see here. Storm warning ending. Hmm. You have to be good with your your dark and your light side before you're able to go forward, I feel. There's something that's going on here when it comes to this. It could be an ending that you're going through and there's a lot of hostility. It's a big storm. There's an ending and you're maybe wanting to move away from that and head towards your person. Looks like you might be dealing with some um, betrayal here. This may not be, this might be with someone else. Somebody's playing on your ego or being held back, maybe because there is no ending for something or you're trying to end something out before you become available for this union. Let's have a look at your love life. Wow, new love. So look at this. You have something else going on. Yeah, somebody's left you out in the cold or you're leaving somebody else out in the cold because of some deception here. You may have been deceptive with your person. Take it however that resonates for you. Unrequited love. No, this has got something to do with the person you're with now if you have someone maybe you've broken up with this person recently feeling recent in the last seven weeks maybe playfulness recapture romance somebody might be trying to draw you back in with passion and being playful with you youthful well, this is how you feel about your new person here. Let's see. Calling in your soulmate. So in order to get what you're looking for, you're going to have to become this passionate side, this playfulness that you want or you're looking for. 
and then call in your soulmate. Become what you're looking for outside of you to bring to you. So you have to become what you're looking for. And if you're looking for someone to be playful with you and have a lot of passion with you and you want a soulmate type of relationship where it's comfy and it's and it's like a soul tribe type of feeling that easy best friends kind of feeling with your person then you have to be that wow looks like there might be an engagement coming in for you dad <laughs> Let's see what we get here for relationships for you. Wow, there is a blessing coming in here that you may have manifested. Maybe manifestations are coming in. Wow, a date and healthy choices. Having that self-love for yourself too, knowing what you're worth. Ha ha, runner. I, I had this for a collective reading as well. It's funny that it came back out like this. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> you might want to look at the collective reading, Dad. Because, <laughs> dang, this is coming up a lot like that one. Okay, so there was some anxiety about finding your 10th cup. Or somebody's trying to put you in some anxiety. Because this is your Juno. This is influences. This could be outside forces that are trying to upset you from going forward towards what you are looking for. Let's see here. Ah, fork in the road, decisions, decisions. They're trying to put some maybe self-doubt into you or some type of doubt or anxiety to keep you from your happiness. Look at that, the 10th cup. That's the fairy tale relationship. That's like major. Um, happiness here this is like finding your person like above all else wow yeah somebody's trying to <laughs> maybe you might need to be flexible um, I kind of feel like what this is this having to do with your stability with number four here and number ten and ending so yeah, they're trying to keep you from ending something out with them. Whoever's trying to influence you here. They have their own reasons of why they don't want you to go forward with your person. Hmm. Their own selfish reasons, and I gotta put it that way because anyone that's trying to persuade you to not go after what is gonna make you happy is for their own selfish reasons. They don't want to lose you as a friend, maybe, or as someone they're with uh, romantically. Take it however it resonates, or it could be um, son-daughter type of dynamic as well. Let's see what your fortune is. All right. The sun in reverse. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, well, what I'm kind of getting with this is that you might be unha unhappy about something about yourself. Could be that there's no peace, maybe feeling unsuccessful, or having kind of some type of immaturity here could be STD, could just be not seeing something. Something hasn't come to light yet. You're wanting some type of victory though. This is your fortune. Let's see what's going on. Sobriety, okay. So maybe you're trying to clean up some of your addictions. Now when we say addictions, that could mean so many different things. It doesn't necessarily mean drugs. It doesn't necessarily mean alcohol. It could be food. It could be the way you talk to yourself in a bad negative way. It could be about having this grandiose type of self-image about yourself. I mean, it could be a lot of different things. Maybe you haven't like I said, gone through some of the old things that are holding you back from having a great relationship. 
your old baggage that you've been carrying around for years and years and years or since childhood. It could mean a lot of things when it says sobriety. It's just meaning that you there's something you need to fix about yourself. New exercise program. So you might want to work out, maybe change your body shape. Maybe you're feeling insecure about the way you look. And that could be the sobriety, needing to have better dialogue with yourself. Oh, dang. I don't know, you might want to volunteer with something. That's what hit the floor. <laughs> Maybe you want to volunteer. Hmm, I don't know. Whatever it is, you have sentimental feelings here about something. Maybe... about not seeing some what are you not seeing take the next step now something hasn't come to light about something here what hasn't come to light why is the sun in reverse mm, you're not single yet maybe or maybe you need to be single that's exactly what it is maybe you aren't single and you need to be single if you're gonna come forward for this person Otherwise, yeah, you may have a lot of options too, but I feel like if you're really looking for your person, you're not going to worry about all these other options. You're going to be free from everyone. You're going to be good about yourself, feel good about yourself, doing that self-care I'm feeling. Let's see what's in your current life right now. Whoa, <laughs> look at this, the emperor. So whatever you've gone through here, you're seeing something now. And it could have been about this person before. It could be that maybe you weren't seeing something here and now you are with the storm warning and hostility. and. You may have done the work. You could have done that now because you want that blessing. Could be a twin flame. We have the runner here. So runner chaser dynamic. You're showing up as the emperor and you're possibly looking for marriage. You could be finding spirituality as well. Let's see what we have for your current life. Whoa, right now. Did I catch it? Yep. <laughs> I almost went on the floor. Oh, you're being held in high honor here. Number seven, and that's that's like spirituality here. Knowledge, assessment, reflection, spirituality. Let's see, what are we getting? What else for the current life? The North Node right now for Father's Day. Oh, you might be going in to get divorced. This is change. This is huge change. This isn't just that little change. This is something that's affecting your stability. It may even be conflict, but we saw hostility here. This may be a mature man that's going through this 5-5 five, five here. So we have 7-5-5. Five, five. You might want to look that up in the angel numbers. And you just type in angel number 755, is that what I said? Yeah, 755, um, meaning spiritually, and it should tell you what that means. Ooh, so this may have something to do with a main male and a mature male here. This might have something to do with your father. This also could be a friend that's kind of maybe trying to get in the way of something here. Trying to hurry your, I'm kind of feeling like they want you to hurry your decisions so you don't really have the time to think it through. And I feel like you're, and they're gonna wanna try to get you to go in their favor so they're not gonna give you a lot of time to think it through. And they're going to be on you about it or bothering you about it. Have you made your decision yet? Blah, blah, blah. I feel like take the time that you need. 
Don't rush it. Let's see. What do we have from Spirits? Advice. Yeah, take the time to heal. Maybe there's something you need to heal here with your person if it's someone from the past. We have the Page of Cups. So this is somebody maybe you see as young at heart or maybe you're feeling more like yourself again. Young at heart. Having that emotional insight. Being kind to yourself. Dealing with that inner child. Recapturing some creative opportunities or let's see. Oh, wow. Counselor. Maybe you go and see a counselor about what you've gone through. Let's see. What does it say? It says, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So possibly you may have a, you may be a healer here. Just naturally healing to those that just people want to tell you their life stories <laughs> you're just your energy is so accepting and warmth i feel like you're really feeling like yourself again yes yeah, take time to breathe maybe even learn how to meditate here and you're going to write something down in your journal or journal something maybe an article or maybe even write a book Oh, that's pretty great. From maybe from your experience, maybe you both have gone through a few things here. Let's see. Victory. Whoa. Archangel Sandalphone. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So just have faith that everything's going to work out. You're going to get that victory. Wow. <laughs> Showing up as the emperor. Look at that. You definitely have options. I don't feel like you're really confused. I feel like you're transforming in this moment. You're healing and maybe you need to take the, uh, you're healing from that broken heart because this is a tarot after and you can see they're patching up their heart here. The swords are taken out. And I feel like you're really starting to heal some injustice maybe you had at one point. You're letting things go. You may be maturing a little. Let's see, how long is this going to take before your person comes in or you're going to your person? When is the right moment for your person to come in for you to meet? When is the right moment for your person to come in? There may be a cancer here. This is safety, stability, structural, foundational. And cancer is quite loyal, actually. Um, 2606, 22, sorry, 2206, 2207. Look those numbers up. That might mean something for you. This is about balancing things out. I know this is um, the duration of cancer season, but I would still check those out to see if there is any underlining messages for you about this cancer. Four weeks, four months, things will balance out. You might want to bring flowers. <laughs> um, let's see what cancer has to say. Respect your feelings, profound emotions your answers come in in particular way so adapt it's maybe some type of roller coaster so <laughs> wow okay so cancers can be moody maybe that's the roller coaster <laughs> i don't know and they may have sagittarius or you may be you may be the cancer or sag or you have these in your chart Number nine is old comes to an end, so the new, but the new can't be seen just yet. So you need to find that new meaning, meaningful person, maybe a, an answer that you need to find first. 2311 and 2112, those might be more numbers you might want to look up. And let's look at Sagittarius. 
It says find a new me. Oh, find a new meaning, sorry. Reflect on remaining things. Be understanding to yourself and others. So there's something you need to understand about yourself. Nine weeks, nine months. So this is, let's see. Well, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Aries, okay. And number one, take time. <laughs> Didn't I say that? You need to take the time for this. Use your open heart spiritually to make a decision. Employ pioneering spirit. So this is about building things. This is about making decisions about what you're going to do. One week, one month. Okay. Well, this is what I have for you on Father's Day. There's definitely a twin flame here. Now you may have been, this may be somebody from your past that over the years you've run into, run into again, and you have these chance meetings here and there. But every time you run into this person, either you're with somebody or they're with somebody, or there's just n hasn't been a way of connecting with the both of you. Something's in the way every time you come together or want to come together. I feel like with the twin flame, this is being able to see yourself in the other person, that mirroring effect where you're able to break those patterns. Maybe you realize, wow, that's just not a good look and damn, that's what I do. <laughs> and you don't like that about yourself or you're seeing it in them and you don't like that about them and you realize that you do the same thing. Okay. <laughs> it's also about ego breakdown. And I did mention something about the ego. I was picking up on that. And with the twin flame, an ego breakdown is part of this twin flame union that all has to happen before you can come together in a harmonious, harmony type setting. Now, you both will have kind of shared beliefs when it comes to spirituality. So if it's somebody that doesn't believe in spirituality, you kind of know that's probably not your person. That's probably not your twin flame. So, but if you do, and somebody else is trying to tell you, oh, that's such a crock of shit, or it's the worshiping the devil, and blah, 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 I feel like it's not your belief so much as somebody trying to get you to adapt to their belief. So, whatever you choose to believe is your choice. Don't let someone else influence you into believing some crap about what spirituality actually is, about how your ancestors are trying to get in touch with you to try to get you on the right track to your best life, okay? And that may be in finding God. It may be in looking at different way of life. So it depends what it means to you. But engagement here this is something that's ending, that's unrequited, that you have with someone else, okay? It means when an unrequited comes up, let's read the card and see what it says. They're not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And we have shady ass behavior here. I mean, come on. This woman's eyeing this man, and this woman's like oblivious to it. So it's like, let's hook up later. <laughs> kind of, kind of thing going on here. It's like shady ass behavior, doing something you shouldn't be doing with someone else. It's like having a third party. That's why there's three people here. Okay. So, wow. Anyhow, this is what I have for you. So you kind of looks like you're doing what you're meant to be doing. Keep going with that. You're going to have a victory in the end, but there has to be some type of something you're not doing because you're still 
being held back or you were being held back until you've done what you needed to do. Maybe a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, and listening to ego. Hello, I just know it has something to do with ego. Maybe you're not communicating because you want them to come to you. Well, that's ego talking. <laughs> Swallowing your pride and communicating if that's what you want to do. Why waste time, right? This person that you want to be engaged to may be doing something else at the time, concentrating on themselves or doing things because they don't feel you want anything to do with them so communicating what you want don't wait life's too short for that so spirit's saying breathe you are a healer here i feel like your person may be as well or they're very spiritual and it's right now is the time it's the perfect time okay spirit's saying do it now. What was that one? Um, take the next step now. You're already at the emperor energy here. So whoever this main male is, I feel like you might be more mature than this other person here. Or it's your father that's trying to persuade you to take a different road. It's your life. Your father's already lived their life, <laughs> right? Now it's time for you to walk down your own path of whatever that is to you, right? Just saying. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> if it is your dad, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, But they've already lived their life, and now it's time for you to live yours. And sometimes that means walking down a path that they may not see you going down. So, but you have a 10 of pentacles here. So whatever this 10 of pentacles is, you're going to build something with this person that's going to have a legacy here. There's going to be... Um, family wealth here stability for generations to come so walking your own path spirit saying you're gonna have a victory here you just have something to work on if you haven't done it already i don't think you'd be showing up as the emperor if you haven't done the work so huh so don't feel insecure Feel good about yourself, confident about yourself, and walk the road you want to walk. Wow. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what I have. So please share and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe if you haven't done so already. And if you want to donate, you can donate in the description box. There's a PayPal account there. You can click on it. It'll take you right to PayPal. Or you can do the super thanks. I am still working on coming live. I'm having issues with something here. And it's not working out my favor at this time. So I'm trying to pull my hair out. Trying to figure it out. But I'll figure it out. I'll get live yet. So don't give up on me yet <laughs> all right you guys take care stay blessed and we'll see you next time later